are called to the scene of a residential home where a 45-year-old man is complaining of severe abdominal pain. Okay. I have my PPE on. The scene is safe. Looks like I have one patient. My NOI is severe abdominal pain. I'm going to consider calling for ALS and I don't think I need C-spine at this time. Hey, I'm Danielle with the ambulance. What's the problem today? Uh, hi, Danielle. I'm Matt and I just have this horrible, horrible stomach pain and I think I need to go to the hospital. Okay, uh, sounds good. So, um, did you fall and hit your head or anything? No, not today. Okay, so I'm going to agree that I still don't need C-spine. Uh, my chief complaint is severe abdominal pain. My uh, general impression is poor and your A on the APCU scale because he's talking to me. So I'm going to check airway. So I can see that you're breathing because you're talking to me, but I am going to check a respiratory rate. Okay, and what do I, I, let's see, for my respiratory rate for you, I got 16. What is the patient's respiratory rate? Your patient's real respiratory rate is 28. Okay, and what's the oxygen saturation? Uh, O2 sat is 94%. Okay, 94%. Um, I am going to um, just go with a nasal cannula at 6 liters per minute. Is that oxygen helping? Yeah, I feel a lot better. So okay, definitely. I'm going to check your pulse. I got a pulse of 60. Okay, your patient's real pulse is 115. Okay, 115. So, um, do I see any ma major bleeding anywhere? You find no major bleeding. Okay, and what do I find for the skin condition? Your patient is pale, cool, and clammy. Okay, so at this time, this is a priority patient showing signs of shock, so we're going to transport. Um, in addition to the oxygen, I'm also going to cover them with a blanket to keep them warm. Okay. Um, are you allergic to anything? No, I'm not allergic. Okay, do you take any medications? Um, I am taking, uh, let's see, an opioid for a recent surgery I had like six weeks ago. Okay, and did you take that today? Yeah, I did. This okay, morning. and you've been taking it pretty much every day? Yeah, um, once in the morning and once at night with meals. Okay, have you ever had abdominal pain like this before? No, I haven't. Okay, do you have any other medical conditions? Um, you know, I have asthma, but that doesn't really seem super connected to what's going on. Do you have an inhaler for that? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, cool. And you haven't used that today? No. Okay, what was the last thing you ate? Uh, let's see, I had lunch at 12.30. Um, it was just a bowl of soup and some water. Okay, and what were you doing when this pain started? Let's see, I honestly, I was just laying around. I haven't felt great all day, but all of a sudden this pain really just kind of hit me out of nowhere and oh, I wasn't able to get off the couch for like six hours before I called. Okay, so how long ago did the pain start? Um, about six about hours six ago. ago. Okay, and since that time has it got, has it changed at all or just kind of? It's been constant. It hasn't gotten worse, but it hasn't gotten any better and that's when I got scared and called you guys. Okay, and you said it came on suddenly? Yeah. Okay, is there anything that makes the pain worse? Um, when I let go of it, like right now it okay. hurts a lot, but if I like press on it and just kind of keep pressure, it feels a lot better. Okay, is there anything else that makes it feel better besides pressing on it? Not really, no. Okay. Um, laying down, I, I mean movement in general just kind of sucks, but... Okay, can you describe the quality of the pain? What does it feel like? Um, it's a really stabbing pain, um, like right here and yeah, that's, that's about it. Okay, does it radiate anywhere else? No, not that I can tell. Okay, um, and it has it radiated anywhere else the whole time or just been in that one spot? It's just been in this one spot. Okay, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst you've ever experienced something like this or the worst pain you've had, um, what would you rate this? I would say this is an 8. An 8, okay. And uh, timing, you said it's just been consistent the whole time. Mm -hmm. It hasn't been coming and going or anything like that, it's just been consistent. Just consistent. Okay, well at this time we'll move on to our secondary assessment. So um, I'm going to palpate your abdomen. Do I find anything unusual when I palpate? Um, everything appears soft and tender besides the lower right quadrant. Okay. I'm going to um, auscultate your bowel sounds and your breath sounds. Do I find anything abnormal there? 
you still hear normal bowel sounds and you hear normal breath sounds. Okay, and I'm going to expose your abdomen. Do I see anything unusual? Nothing. Any redness or anything? Nothing out of the ordinary. Okay. Um, I'm going to get a full set of vitals. So I already got your pulse and respiratory rate. I'm going to check your blood pressure. about 140 over 82. What is my patient's blood pressure? Your patient's blood pressure is 165 over 110. Okay. Um, and I don't see any need to check a blood glucose level, so I'm going to skip that. Um, so my uh, field impression is that this patient is experiencing an appendicitis. I don't have any interventions in mind that I would give. I don't have any medications that I could give. So I'm going to call medical control and see if they advise any interventions. And I'm going to um, repeat my vitals and my primary assessment every five minutes. And now we're at the hospital and I'm going to give a run report to the nurse to hand off care. So I have a patient who is experiencing some abdominal pain that started about six hours ago. It's been consistent the whole time. His uh, blood pressure and pulse are slightly elevated. Uh, we did put him on a nasal cannula just at six liters per minute to help with some of the pain. He has a oxygen saturation of 94% and the nasal cannula did help his pain subside. The end.